I couldn't open the crate, and I couldn't move it. Oh, Pablo. The Xibalba princess lay at anchor just below Tower Bridge. I knew I'd found the right ship as soon as I saw Pablo at the rail. Good call. Looks like the... A guard patrolled the deck. Looks like the museum guy. He was sure to be armed. Alright, just move when he's not coming around. Maybe wait till he goes around again. You know, that mop's going in our pants somehow, or our little pocketbook. Yeah, have a nice chat with Pablo. I like your shirt. How much do you lift? Probably can't hang out here. Take your friggin' time, why don't you, Nico? Climb the ladder? <laughs> that happened to us earlier with George. Damn. Alright, so everyone's been shot once now. Where is this gonna put me? Same spot? Okay. Alright, let's not get shot this time. Go up the ladder. How about that? Oh, take your friggin' time, Nico. Huh. She knows how to time it on her own, actually. Nice. Okay. I like sneak over and grab the mob from here. It just disappeared. All right then. The god would be. Oh my god, Nico! Oh, gee. go in. The tactical advantage of hiding in there escaped me. Okay, yeah, let's just get shot. The tactical advance. I would much rather get shot. Uh, where am I now? We're not on zombie yet. Where's my other 76% though? This, we just gotta get shot? Maybe go in this door? <laughs> I think I broke that guy. That's fine. I wasn't going in there until I knew if anyone was inside. Yeah, we definitely just broke that guy outright. Weird. A guard patrolled. The I couldn't let the guard see. <laughs> He's like my uh, six-year-old niece hiding in plain sight, being like, "He doesn't see me." I couldn't. All right. No, I just I need to get shot here so we can fix this. I couldn't let. Uh, fine. That's not where. But I saved. Did we not save? What? Get out of here with that. Whatever. Good thing I compulsively save as it is. Can't believe there's no animation of us getting the stone. Or maybe we're just like, oh, I know where it is. We'll come back later. Once I have my finding equipment. Finding equipment? All right. I'm getting the sense that maybe we want to open this. He'll be compelled to search.
Guess we gotta be a little bit quicker. Or we just, we need to do it one at a time and I'm just getting impatient. Wouldn't surprise me. Let's try going up the ladder first. <laughs> Bless the stupid guards. All right. He's gone past. Let's open the cupboard. He'll investigate. And then we'll uh, lock him in with the, with the broom. Yeah, it's hard to be stealthy in high heels. Yeah, head on inside, friend. Idiot. Da -dunk. Use the mop to lock it up. Good. No sound effects necessary, apparently. There you go. Nice. Got you. Got you. I mean, if I were the guard right now, I'd be banging as, making as much noise as possible, but you guard your way, I'll guard mine, I guess. Let's peek through this porthole, shall we? But the color woman was there. They'll know it was me. But you have the stone. The right stone, you're sure. The G.I. Joe yes, reject. Of it's the Jaguar stone. No possible mistake. Here it is. Garzak, please. The police will be looking for me soon. You're going to get me out of the country, aren't nah, you? Nah, we've seen this scene play out many times. Stop your whining, UBA. Do you have any idea what this stone symbolizes? I thought you just wanted it to frighten the natives. Fool. I intend to cast this stone into the sea. But why? It's unique. Exactly. With it gone, the Mayan priest's plan to destroy Tezcatlipoca cannot succeed. Hmm. I can assure you that Tezcatlipoca is a mythical figure. Such a small mind you live in. Tezcatlipoca is real. I have seen him in my dreams. Oh, what are you reaching for, G.I. Joe? spoken of his plans for this world. We have spoken of your part in these plans. My part? He told me you would be useful. He told me how to crush your spirit by turning you to drugs. My wife died. You know that full well. She was my world, my everything. And now? You are no longer useful. Yep. Silencer. She called out your name as she died. Damn. Name. What? What are you saying? <gasps> and then they thought you'd done it. It all worked perfectly. Wow. It was you? You bastard. Poor Ubi. Monster. For the love of God, Kazak. Which one? <laughs> oh. Damn. Man, no one ever thinks to look to the right. So chill about it. Ubia! I couldn't just rifle his body without making sure he was really dead. You really? That's the George way of doing things, and it's fine. You all right, man? There were no signs of life, but I checked that Ubie really was beyond help. Then take the friggin' stone. We were going to need the stone to thwart Karzak. I knew Ubie would have approved. Heck yeah. It was the Jaguar stone, all right. Doofy pup. Oh no! What? Stab him! Stab him! Stab Karzak! Hell yeah! Suck on that, G.I. Joe. <laughs> all right. After battling through the jungle, George approaches the beach below the pillar, lo pillar rock when... Damn! Pirate! Is this a reenactment? Maybe? What? I was about to make good my escape when... What? Cut! Oh, they're doing a movie. It looks just like the, uh... Who the hell are you? Uh, I can explain everything. Don't bother. It looks like the surveyor. He sounds like him, too. Did I ruin the shot? 
Sorry, man. <laughs> Pretty funny. Where's Johnny Depp? Hello? I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were making a movie. <laughs> so who are Crap you? Craft services Stobart. table. George Stobart. Uh, two B's and two T's. It's okay, Mr. Hawks. He wasn't in the shot. Hawks? This had to be Carlton Hawks, the newest enfant terrible of Tinseltown. <laughs> I'd read about him. Mailroom boy makes good. <laughs> nice to know it was still possible to get to be a director armed with only an encyclopedic knowledge of postal charges. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Stay out of the way, surfer boy. I'll deal with you later. Surfer boy? They animate a lot of guys to look like him. Well, this is much cheerier than what we just saw in the last scene. Zombie Island. The film. I'm definitely chatting her up. Maybe even showing her the panties if things go well. Hey there, I'm George Stobart. Well, hi, handsome. You're cute. All right. I wish it was you playing the lead male instead of that kid. I can't act, ma'am. So what? I bet you can kiss. Whoa. I couldn't believe I was having this conversation <laughs> with a Smile. real movie star. We even know who she is? He says star. I should have right-clicked on her first. Oh, yeah. It's a bold move to lead with the panties. But George Stobart's a bold man. What do you think of these? <laughs> Ew, they're awful. You have no idea how much you've just gone up in my estimation. Uh, we're a match made in the stars. Fantastic. What part are you playing? Pirate Bats, the ruthless and passionate Lady Buccaneer. It's a great part. I get to kiss a lot, and I kick ass. Like the boots? I do, actually. Take a look at this ancient Mayan For artifact. no reason. That's just a hunk of stone with a picture scratched on it. In a way, I guess. You don't happen to have seen anything similar, have you? No. So funny. He hid the treasure around here, and we thought it would be all deserted. They're filming a movie right here. Oh, well. What's it like sharing the spotlight with an actor who's young enough to be your son? He looks son? older than what her. Mean? What do you mean? I found this reed in the swamp on the other side of the island. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and I used it to shoot a poison dart at a wild <gasps> boar. It was a real-life drama, not just a scene from a My movie. life's really right. interesting. She was having trouble with the whole real-life-is-not-a-movie concept. It's all right. She's pretty. Her hair here doesn't really match. Boy? He looks older than she is. I don't understand. Hi George Stobart. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Haiku McEwen. Why does everyone look like this guy? They just slightly changed the hair for each one of these dudes. Looks like he's like 60 here. Is your name really Haiku? Yeah. It was my mom's idea, okay? When I was born... I was so small and perfectly formed, I reminded her of a Japanese poem. Well, I guess it could have been worse. She could have called you Limerick. <laughs> That's my middle name. Oh. Did you always Haiku want to Limerick be boy. I don't think of what I do as acting, man. You're not alone. <laughs> it's more like um, the voice of my generation. That's pretty good. What I'm saying, I'm saying for the kids on the street. Which is what? I'm crap, I'm going nowhere? Huh? What are you saying, man? Man. Stobart, get out of shot. Positions, everybody. <laughs> I'll get a flip chart and explain it to you later, Haiku. <laughs> He's so condescending to everyone. I love it. Haiku, baby, are you ready? Okay, man. Uh, which scene is this? You've been captured by Silver's accomplice, Pirate Babs, who's fallen in love with you. Okay, people. Top of page 76, Sharon. What about my big speech? It's been cut. Everybody ready? <laughs> Up to speed. Quiet on the set. Okay, let's make magic. Oh, please. <laughs> and action. Are they going to find the stone in the middle of the scene? Why don't you forget that dumb old squire and his bunch of merry men? Can't you see we were made for each other? I know, but Squire Kalani saved my life, Captain Babs. Why, if it hadn't have been for him, that giant octopus would have made mincemeat out of me. But right now he thinks you're a traitor. He's locked you out of the stockade, Jimbo. 
He sounds like Ted, but he looks like Bill. Might have kept out Silver's man, but it ain't gonna stop me. Oh, Jimbo. <laughs> and cut. Haiku Boy would win an Wouldn't Oscar seven months yeah, later. What is happening here? Did you get the heavy breathing flash? Did I have a boss? We should have made this movie in 3D. <laughs> Haiku, you that was great. the big trend in the We're late 90s, the early 2000s. Now, so get a bite to eat. That walk. I'll never be confident enough to pull off that walk. Ooh, can I get some food? Savage, on set, damn it. We have not eaten since this game began, I think. This is the set. He's dressed exactly like the other guy. I'm gonna help myself to some buns. Oh, it's so close to. Want some buns? The bun was so stale it felt like a small rock. Useful. Probably slingshot that at some point. I want some syrup. I want some pancakes. I'm glad he put the pancakes in the non fish pocket. Anything else? All right, thank you, Craft Services. Anything else to say to the boy? Just... Hey, Haiku. Yeah, man. <laughs> kind of sounds like, uh... Would you like a bun? No way, man. I have to be careful what I eat. Yeah, never eat anything smarter than yourself. <laughs> Why'd you keep that to yourself and that all of a sudden you're afraid of offending someone? I may not be making millions of dollars, and I may not have thousands of nubile, if uncritical, young women lusting for my body, but I've got something that you haven't. A lump this of coal. A small <laughs> piece of coal. <laughs> Man, you're getting freaky on me. Daniel Day-Lewis used one on the set of Lincoln, and it worked out all right for him. I think it did. Uh, you like panties, boy? Hey, Haiku. Yeah, man. You got something to show me? I'd like your opinion on something. Yeah? What? He was too interested in himself. Not gonna waste my panties on this guy then if he's not gonna take me seriously. Oh, camera. You wouldn't get me up there. Could talk to this guy. Hi, I'm George Stobart. <laughs> what does this have to do Harris. with the... Most people call me what does this have to do with the plot You're of the game? Man, right? That's right. Why'd they call you Flash? You used to be a stills photographer? Nope. I decided not to pursue the subject. What do you think of Haiku McEwen? What's to think? A kid will have earned more by the time his balls drop than I learn in a yeah. lifetime. Good luck to him. What do you mean by the time his balls drop? He's 60 years old. <laughs> They're not going to get too much lower. Weird. All right, I'm not done with this lady. What's up? Hi. Hi, gorgeous. Mmm, buns. Would you like this bun? All right. Oh, wait Trade a him for yours. Fox is watching me. Don't let him see it. Oh, he's looking right at Ooh. me. Ooh. What's the matter? Never mind. Just put that cake away and pretend you weren't talking to me. It's hard as a rock. Why does she want it? This is the stunt guy. <laughs> Hi, George Stobart. Hello, mate. <laughs> You're English, right? Blimey, you don't miss much, do you? Bert, Bert Savage. Savage. Wow, I can talk more. <laughs> All British people know each other, right? Did you ever meet Bertrand de Meet him? No. I saw him a few times, though. He didn't like his wife being in film. Oh, right. Yeah, I forgot. Did you ever work with Carol Climax? Dirty Dashand? I'll say. Flipping princess, mate. I heard she was very beautiful. Mind you, she acted like one too. Ordering this, demanding that. Do you think Oubier murdered his wife? I wouldn't be surprised if he did. Mind you, there were plenty of people who could have done her in. I thought the public loved her. Yeah, but people who knew her saw the other side. How long have you been in the movie business? Flipping years, mate. Absolutely flipping years. I was in the army before that. Thought to myself, You've been risking your bleeding neck every day. Why not cash in on it like? So you became a stuntman, just like that? Nah, of course not. I had to do the training first. Not even attempting to match the hair color of the other guy. What training does a stuntman do? 
First they told me to stand in the road. Then they ran me yeah. down. Straight up. Drove at me with a car. I couldn't believe it. I was up on the bonnet and over the other side before I realized he wasn't stopping. Then they threw me That's downstairs the hood. a bit and gives me a certificate. For everyone on this side of the pond. Want this stale Would cake? You like a bun? No way. The last one yeah. I tried cracked my dentures. Would you like this pot of syrup? No thanks, mate. I don't like the stuff. Would you like this pot of syrup? There will never be another game like the Broken Sword series when it comes to <laughs> offering people everything you currently have in your pants. Would you like a pancake, Bert? <laughs> don't mind if I do. Oh, he's having a pancake. Okay. Here you go, Bert. I just... <laughs> You know there's a table, you were literally just standing next to it. You would rather one someone fishes out of that are I use that word advisedly considering we had a fish in our pocket earlier, out of their pocket and offers it to you. Bert. Have you ever seen anything like this before? What's that, mate? Stone axe? No, it's just a piece of polished stone. Very nice, very nice indeed. Shine it up a bit, you get a few bob for that. Plank. I wasn't going to upset Hawks anymore by tampering with his props. Alrighty then. Can you grab another pancake? Can I put the syrup on the pancake? I'd better Oh, that's not the pancake. Did I get another pancake? Doesn't look like uh wait. It was a plain pancake. That's a pancake? In what universe? Does pancake have multiple meanings? Why does it look like an like a old like anemic burrito? Alright. It's all syrupy now, yeah. It looks like a like a artifact or an idol or something or a key from the dig. You want a pancake with syrup on it, Bert? Come on, we could do better than that. Stuntmen deserve the best. What have you got there? <laughs> Another pancake, Bert? Yeah, go on. Got gotcha. your yeah, piqued your interest there. Yeah, go on. The pancake oozed maple syrup all over Bert's chins. Ugh, you chins. put bloody syrup on that pancake. Now it's messed me all up. Messed me all up. Next time you offer me a pancake from your pants, make sure it's clean and devoid of syrup. Alright, what was the point of that? Got a bush. As I walked towards the bush, it started buzzing angrily. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, and he's all covered in... We gotta smack the bush. No? Get that camera rolling. This could be good. <laughs> uh, what the hell just happened? Cut and printed. That was brilliant, folks. And Bert died that day. Okay, the next scene is down on the beach. This is where Hawkins finds the treasure in the cave of the crabs. <sighs> Would those be giant killer crabs by any chance? Crab giant people. mutant killer crabs with attitude. Tastes like crab, talk like people. There it was. Walk like crab. The rock I'd seen from the camel's hump. Now that I was close up, I could make out a small cave near the top of the pillar. Sorry, where is it? Weird how the music just cuts out sometimes that we still have our... Did I need to... Hey, you! Trouble! Oh, oh, Trouble. Me? I'm way better looking than everyone else in this movie, man. Just cast me. I want you to stay right where I can keep an eye on you. I'm not one of your lackeys, Hawks. I go yeah, where I Yeah, I don't work on this not movie. Not here you don't. The movie company has rented this island for the duration. You're trespassing. Do as you're told or you're gone. You're gonna fire me from a movie I don't even work on? 
so strange. 84%? Yeah, all right, Hawks. You need to relax. It's little chicken legs. So, uh, what do you really think about... Who's the leading lady? Yeah. Don't you recognize her? That's Sharon Kowalski. Oh, right. Fish. I'd never heard of her. <laughs> and yet earlier, like, wow, I'm talking to a real-life movie star. I feel like she would go with a stage name. I don't want to alienate any Kowalskis watching, but I feel like you don't hear of any Kowalskis in the film business for a reason, you know? Sharon. I was talking to Mr. Savage, the stuntman. Ski? Is he all right? What makes you say that? He's not making any sense. The guy's English. <laughs> I actually didn't try talking to him yet, but that's fine. So, is this a zombie movie? You know what the locals call this place, don't you? No, but I guess you're gonna tell me. Zombie Island. <laughs> Zombies. That's... A crazed gleam came Are you gonna change eye. the... Get me the oh writers. my god. Get me makeup. I want zombie pirates in this movie by the end of today. That's a bad sign when you're rewriting the entire thing halfway through the shoot. I'm gonna go ahead and say this is not gonna win all the Oscars. What's the name of the movie? Are you trying to be funny? No. It's Treasure Island. The only book I ever read twice. Oh, okay. I don't recall any girls in Treasure Island. That was the Island. problem. Gotta think box yeah. office. People like that People kind like of thing. People like women. What other changes have you made to the story? Just a few minor details. You haven't written out Long John Silver. Are you questioning my integrity as an That's artist? That's a yes. Of course Silver's still yeah. there. We've even hung on to Captain Flint. His parrot. His trained attack falcon. Why do you think Blind Pew's blind? Yeah, this might be a straight to VHS release. Did you say you've changed the ending of the story? That's right. Do they find the treasure? Yeah, but that comes later. After they've escaped the volcanic eruption. A volcano? Sure. Krakatoa. All the millions spent on a movie, <laughs> and nobody thinks to buy an atlas. This this doesn't strike me as costing millions of dollars, George. Who's playing Jim Hawkins? Hi, Q. McEwen. Oh, don't tell me you've never heard of him. I don't go to the movies too often. Jeez. Haiku is only the hottest teen He's star 60. in Hollywood. That's why we're on such a tight Not schedule. A teenager. Gotta film the close-ups before he hits puberty. Don't understand the facial animations in this game. You don't look happy. Why should I be happy? Look at that cave. It's supposed to be where the treasure is. So? Look at it. So? It's crap. Does that look like the sort of place anybody would hide treasure? That's I ironic. Have props build me a proper damn cave. A cinematic Ooh. cave. What do you mean, a cinematic cave? One with drama. Danger. Danger. One that looks like the mouth of a big stone skull would be cool. But I'd settle for drama and danger. <laughs> Why don't you use that cave up on the rock pillar at the end of the beach? We don't have a stuntman anymore. Hey, I'll do yes. stuff. I appreciate the offer, but if you fall, you'll see No, I'll be us. dead. No, I won't. Everybody hear that? <laughs> I heard Witnesses. It. Good enough, we're covered. <laughs> Got any experience? Well, I heard Death it. Defying leaps, desperate fist fights, getting caught in explosions. You and I'm more attractive okay, than your leading man. Out. We're shooting the scene at the end of the beach. No, we're not. The camera's still bogged down. Huh? Shoot, I forgot about that. No go, Stobart. We'll have to use this cave after all. Uh. But I feel like I need that to get up to the the dealy. There it was. <sighs> the column of rock I'd seen from the camel's hump. It was a lot taller than I'd expected. Hmm. And held camera. Flash? Yep. We can't film at the Needle Rock because the camera's bogged down, right? You got it, champ. So why can't we use the portable camera instead? You know, that's a pretty smart idea. Why am I doing your job for you? That's a pretty smart idea. Mr. Hawks doesn't like that cave. He says it isn't cinematic enough. Well, that's just too tough. The camera's bogged down in the sand. If he wants the shot done, how do we get it over here in the first place? Cave. There's a pretty good cave over on the other side of the bay. The one up in that finger of rock? We'd need a stuntman. You got a stuntman. We ain't got no stuntman. Bird injured his back doing that dumb wall jump. Do you suffer from blackouts, Flash? I think we're good. I've been talking to the cameraman. He's got a portable camera. So, so <laughs> made you it can sound use like the it's cave in that rock pillar at the end of the beach. Well, he's got some disease. He's got That's a portable a camera. Cave if ever I saw one. 
We ain't got a stabilized harness for it. Oh, the camera will wobble. Did D.W. Griffiths have a stabilized harness when he made Birth of a Nation? You gotta remember, this is... You're right, damn it. Hitchcock. Birth of a Nation. Well, none of them <laughs> needed one. For crying Ugh. out loud, Sam Raimi stabilized his camera on a plank. Props, get me a plank. We're gonna wing it. Hot dog. You gotta remember, this We're is like right before the born... Movie. Uh... Legacy, George, born wardrobe. identity came out, gonna make you a and wobble camera it was all the rage. Fantastic! Oh, we're finally gonna take off our. Wait, what about our uh, pocket inventory? Are we transferring that to the, <laughs> just like that. Ready when you are, Mister Hawks. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Is all my stuff in these, uh, stunt pants now? We make the transfer? Oh god, we're gonna die, aren't we? I feel like the sound effects were a little... It was the stone which Ketch had captured from the Spanish. Is it... The Eagle Stone. Is it in there? Oh, okay. What's the rest? What was the paper? Yes! We have all three stones! Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you.